have available. So what I'd like for you to do, David, is give me a six o'clock, bottom dead center, left side. And I want, I want to, yeah, you do have a little bit of rub here. And I can see, I can see it now on the crank. This is all telltale stuff for me. I let, let, let this go back just, just slightly, just right, right there, right, <laughs> right there, yeah, perfect. So lock in on that position, eyes forward. Forgive me for poking and prodding here. I got to no. find bones. All right, I've got you at 48 degrees on the left side. So make note of that. 48 degrees is one of our pros. Wow. So you can see your saddle is, is, is a little on the low side. For, for starters. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to go to the other side here. I'm going to, I'm going to log all this. So I'm not very always good at remembering exactly where we are. So well, what was that again with the pros? You would most of the pros I I set them up uh, between 38 and 41 degrees. Okay. Yeah. All right. Raise that heel just a little bit. Not quite that much. Right there. This is interesting. <laughs> My body's messed up. 52 degrees. Got a substantial leg length variance there. 52 degrees versus 48. <laughs> now, okay, so what's happening? The short side is overworking. You're giving the right side a vacation. <laughs> okay? So, if, I know you said you don't have any knee problems, let's just look at the biokinetic chain here. This leg is working harder, quite a bit harder than the other side, and it's shorter. The muscles are shorter. And so in terms of potential injury on, and now we're talking running and cycling, this one is far more likely. Well, that, that's interesting because I always, at some point during the season, I pull my left calf. Okay, well, there's, there's pretty graphic evidence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some stretches that address this. Okay. Because some, some, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to work with you again.